Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? So today I want to talk to you about what's coming up in October and November because it's going to be a lot. Uh, but first I'd like to talk about a few other things. Number one, I'm very happy to see that some of the stormy weather is moving on, although there is some other uh, storms approaching. I know that we've gotten through the eclipse season and this past eclipse has meant different things for different people. It's felt different to different people. It actually has not felt the same to everyone. And that's one of the things to know about going forward is for some people, you may see a diminishment of the intensity. And for other people, things might be very intense for you. And I just want to share a little bit of humor that I heard on my trip to go see the eclipse. Some people were calling it the great, we should call this the great barbecue eclipse. Because you have, you know, states out west here that do make their own version of barbecue and, you know, big ranch celebrations with barbecue and then you get a little further here and you've got St. Louis with great barbecue and Kansas City with great barbecue and Illinois and you get over to Kentucky and you get into the Carolinas, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, all different versions of barbecue, right? So I just want to say something, Texas, you're next. In seven years, I just know you're going to rebuild. I know the angels you are. I've been to Austin. I've been to Dallas. I have not had the honor of being to Houston. But let me say something. Every time I've met someone from Texas, they are fine people. And they know how to throw a party. And they know how to cook barbecue. So as the next eclipse come, rolls around in seven years, I just know everything is going to be bigger and better and more barbecuey. So that's just a little bit of humor to share with people. Um, so getting back to what's happening in October and November, a lot of people felt this. This was a closure. The eclipse was the time that the old paradigm was closed off. And a lot of people weren't sure what exactly that meant. What I want to reassure you is you know, like that old saying, when one door closes, another one opens. The other one has been open, but this ensures that there is closure to the old stuff. And some people will notice it very physically. Other people will notice it in how they're still getting pushed out the door. It is normal to get pushed out of the door. So what are some of the signs that you're going to be in your union? Some of them are going to be that, yes, you're getting pushed out of the 3D door. Some of them are that you suddenly find yourself helping out your family or going back to family with a sense that, hey, I think I have to help these people. And if you've resisted that, I would encourage you, please don't resist. Allow yourself to be guided, okay? Because it is uh, very important for what's coming up here. There's a lot of things closing out, family patterns, relationship patterns, um, ancestral patterns of illness. A lot of illnesses are very diminished in their effect and have been eradicated, but your body may still be getting rid of the memories of those things. There's another thing, and that is the emotions of it. Okay, and that's what water, you know, water tends to bring out emotion. Water is the emotion. And yet not everyone has been able to feel, feel themselves, feel their own emotions and discern properly. A lot of people have had this suppressed for lifetimes. And it's understandable because if you look at surviving in 3D, sometimes there's not even been the luxury for emotion. I remember someone I uh, talked to who had grown up in uh, post-war Europe and they counted their blessings just because they had some work and they had food and there was no luxury to complain about your boss or your emotions and frequently were so exhausted. 
So feeling your emotions at one time might have been luxurious to feel and process your emotions. Going forward, it is a necessity. So those lives that you've had where emotion wasn't really a part of it or it was greatly diminished or squashed, those lives are done. And you're doing something of what I would like to call clean slate. So what has been uh, being served up at the old Paradigm Cafe? The reheated emotional stew, sour and bitter liver, lukewarm soulmate soup. Because <laughs> you know there's plenty of fish there, but some of those fish are starting to stink. Old school masculine and old school feminine. A lot of you know what I'm talking about, about old school. Old school masculine and old school feminine. Old school feminine can be very demanding and strident and very electric. And old school masculine can be very electric and macho. That's old school. And of course, the humble pie where you've been humiliated, disgraced, judged, pushed out, left behind, disenfranchised, and this has happened to entire groups of people. Hey, we deliver. Uh, this is a sign that I keep in my house, Ohana, the sense of family. This is happening for everyone, many soul groups, but at different speeds. So what is your opportunity here? The opportunity is to have a clean slate. Okay, you get a clean slate, so does your twin. And you get to wipe that slate clean. But how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, I'm first going to tell you what this is not. So these two timelines are going to be what is not. No more soulmates or karmic for each other. That means that if your twin is with a karmic situation, has karmic beliefs such as, oh, I could be with a lot of people. Yeah, because you've also been told out there, oh, there's, there's plenty of fish. There's an entire soul group to collect from, to select from rather, or collect from. And you actually need to say no. Not only that, vibrationally, you can no longer match other people. That's a key difference because some of you are not going to feel like you want to be touched by another, only your twin. That also is a telltale sign that you're going to be in your physical union. The people that say, I don't need anything, I'm holding my 5D union. Yeah, you are. But the physical ache, the desire is there for a reason. And it is because you're supposed to do this physically. So that is also a telltale sign. No more karmic living. No 3D sex, which includes intercourse, oral sex, anal sex, phone sex, sexting, all kinds of stuff, pornography. No 3D sex at the level where others are still being abused, raped, or trafficked. If you are, you are re-enlivening those energies. Is that what you want? Is that what you, because some people do it and they say, you know, it's not harming anything. But that's why some of this is just naturally shutting down. People are finding themselves with things like erectile dysfunction or ovulation or menstrual cycle. You're winding down. You may find that you have other things it hurts. You can't lubricate. You get yeast infections. Both genders can get yeast infections if your other is active. And that's another thing. There is no more separation. So if your twin is up to stuff, you will feel it on your body. If they drink, you'll get a hangover. If there's sex, you'll feel like someone's poking you with a broomstick and it doesn't feel good. It's not going to be a very pleasurable three-way triangulation of your energies. October is the meeting or re-encounter of those twin flames who have lived in the civilizations of Lemuria, Atlantis, and Egypt 
with a firm level of their new earth connection. Now, having a new earth connection does not mean someone who talks about the new earth. There's people who talk about the new earth who don't have that. And there's people who know nothing about it who actually have it. In fact, quite a few people who get recently awakened are actually in the timing and they already have those connections. So you can't go by how much someone is asleep or unaware or unawake. And you can't go by how many years they've been doing this work. That is actually a misconcept that some people had to have been doing this for 30 years or something. And that other people are newbies at this. You may, I want to just reassure those of you who are just joining. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for waking up. Thank you for participating and coming back together with your own true love. Because that was what this is about. That is the first and foremost thing that you are doing. You are one organism. You're one organism putting itself back into its one state of being. You're not actually two separate people. And that is what, when people refer to the mission, I feel like I need to be on a mission. I feel like I need to be on a mission. Your mission is this. Get yourself into oneness, focus on your twin, start getting your bodies together. That's it. Everything else is the byproduct of your love. When you feel that love, you feel how do you express yourself in the world? What is the calling of your heart? Then you'll know what to do. So it's very important not to go off half cocked. Now, for people that are newly joining, you may find also that there are things that you know, but you're being awakened at phase two here of this, which is your light body. Okay, you needed to bypass the entire past 10, 20, 30 years. Other people needed those 10, 20, 30 years. And some people are very bitter about it. And I encourage you, please don't be bitter. Please trust that there is a plan here in place and nobody is being excluded. Do not throw in the towel. A lot of people say that and I even did a video about that over a year ago. Don't throw in the towel. I'm just going to say it. Don't throw in the towel. Now, November is for those twin flames who have once lived in ancient Mars and that corresponds to ancient Peru, Incan culture, and some other parts of uh, modern South America because it did extend up and down the coast and towards the Amazon. Ancient Japan, ancient England, and we're talking about way almost pre-Stonehenge England and Ireland and other parts of Northern Europe because the topography was different then. And this is no matter where you are currently living. So if you feel some of this, if you have seen some of your past lives, if you have felt a connection to certain geographical places, you're not off. You're actually gathering yourself in from these timelines. So if you're trying to keep these timelines open, please don't. You don't need to. You've gathered in, you have to trust that what's been brought here is the best of all of this stuff. The best of ancient Egypt, the best of ancient Atlantis, the best of Lemuria. All of you people with an affinity for water, Lemuria, Atlantis. All of you people that remember flying, Lemuria and Atlantis, especially Atlantis. Atlantis, Neptune, and several other planets where the atmosphere is conducive to it. If you remember ancient Japan, Peru, India, other parts of Asia, ancient Australia, parts of Africa, you're in that next wave. So you're coming up to the December solstice, which I will talk about again. So what do you need to get here? Because what is important is that you actually have cosmic connections that reside in your body that need to be anchored within. Those are the next steps for you. Those are the things that connect you to your subtle bodies. And your subtle body is a part of you. And how you do some of this is through each other. And I, I hear some of you, I hear some of you regularly, Patricia, I talk to my twin. 
Stop the conversation, start the heart communicating. Start getting busy because your light body is new. The things that have been taught in some of these ancient cultures were for keeping your human body going and staying connected to a soul group or a group of people. But you're leaving. That is the really good news. We are leaving. We're leaving. It's time. You get to leave now. And it is going in waves. So these waves are similar to a boat where you're actually going to draw other people behind you. Some of those might be your family and friends, although you are not responsible for their ascension. So I just want to remind you that I have a little, yes, they're back, yes. The not ready for prime time players, actors here that I have depicting some beautiful twin flame couple that's out there somewhere. You're out, you're out there somewhere. You're different colors. You have different hair color, eye color, skin color. Okay, these are the ones that I purchased. Your divine marriage exists up here. Okay, that is in place. We are doing this from the top down and you're being twined with your other until you actually just physically finally are together and everything clicks into place and you do these merges you do several levels of merges okay and it might feel as though you're very separate okay but you've had to separate in order to yank certain things out to get things detached but meanwhile, you will feel this acceleration as you get out of here. Now, where are you getting out to? As I've said, there is a timeline split. And the way that I perceive it is what I call a completely different level. So you have the glass ceiling that some people are still under. Okay, they're still believing certain things. They may not have your awareness and that's not to be a criticism of them okay but the couples who will be together there is a special place created for you and that place makes it safe for you to be with each other have time of isolation get reacquainted see what's going on you know in 3d earth because yeah things will still happen we'll still see it but you you're not affected by it okay nor can you get out very easily. You cannot really go back to that old 3D paradigm. It is closed. That shop is closed. Elvis has left the building. You've left the building. Okay. So what are some of the things that you can do to help yourself? Well, I happen to have been working on this furiously for years. I'm kind of like Mozart. Like I have this body of work. That actually, as we go through some of these cycles, some of it feels very important for certain times. And that's what I tend to feel. And I want to let you know something. I am a teacher of the new light body. You might say to yourself, how do we ensure that there's never a fall again? How do we ensure that my twin doesn't get seduced? How do we ensure that we don't get deceived, tricked, trapped? How do we ensure that when we want to get pregnant, we're doing it of our own volition and not some random event. How do we ensure that we have enough here to keep the soul to the body and to keep ourselves going and to keep ourselves entertained and, you know, having a semblance of a life here? Because your real life is in 5D. Okay, how do we do this? The answer is the light body is now new. And there are actually new parts which give you the sense of individuation while maintaining your sense of being one being. That means that nobody gets depleted, nobody feels deprived in your union. Your twin can't drain you out, you can't drain your twin out. And some of you have had that sense. You've had a sense of dying to 3D, dying in the old paradigm. You have died to be here. You've bled out. You've let everything out. You're still purging out some of this stuff. But the how of it is in the structure of the upper subtle bodies. 
And it is exactly what I teach so that you feel new and that things ping off of you. Beow, beow, here comes this flirtation. Beow, here comes that. Somebody's trying to trick us. Somebody's trying to, um, you know, do that salesman technique on us. Somebody's using words too much. Do, 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 do. And that kind of thing will wind up buffeting people. And for a lot of people, you're already sensitive to outer stimulus. You might be hypersensitive to it. You might be what has been defined as a highly sensitive person. But what that really means is that your energies are overextended. And it's like having your last nerve over there and everyone is stepping on your one last frayed nerve and you can't stand it anymore because you're going to scream. You can't go into the store. You can't go into crowds. And that is not how you're intended to live. That is not unconditional love. Unconditional means there's no conditions to it. There's no compromises. There's no nothing. You can only do this if you make something new and you make it so that Everything is enabled. So yeah, it has taken a long time, not to mention conflict. Your bodies will not be able to hold the energies of conflict, fighting, battling, warring, or any of the other lower level things that you've had to do to survive or that you've been forced to do, okay? So one of the webinars that I have is called human body in transition. This is very good for people if this is fairly new to you and you want more information, but I don't just give you information. I give you the what to do when there's things happening. This covers a lot about the masculine in transition, what males go through, what things that they can do, uh, what happens with sex, what happens with females about sex and reproduction? Sex, reproduction, feeling, orgasms. We all love orgasms, okay? But some people's orgasms have been at the expense of other people. And that also is being removed. Remember what I said, 3D sex at the level where it is somehow harming someone else. It's going to be new. I don't, I cover the transitional part. Okay, and it's not tantric sex. You're going, you're here to have sacred sex with each other. Sacred sex is at a different level. It's not at 3D sexual level. It means that you're not limited to 3D sex. Okay. Okay. The other one, catching your spirit body. So if you have been describing your twin as a ghost, a spirit, they feel like a presence, they're ghosting you. You feel like you're being catfished and spied upon. Try this one. Catching your spirit body and sealing the gates of the heart. Now, the sealing the gates of the heart, if you have heartache, if you have relationships that you know are breaking up, that's happening for a reason. How you feel better is when your heart cracks open and you might feel like your heart is cracked open for the hundredth time and you're like, oh my God. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a whole new level of the trail of tears. Okay, you will miss people. You will say goodbye to people. You're saying goodbye to these ancient timelines that you forgot the parts that were catastrophic or traumatic. You're remembering little bits and pieces of the good stuff. The good stuff is kept for you. It's like remembering the good childhood stuff and deleting the stuff where you got smacked across the face. You don't want to remember that. You're going to remember the good stuff. You're going to share the good stuff with your twin. So sealing the gates of your heart so nothing else gets in there that will hack you, harm you, corrupt your energies, linger in your energies, seduce you or trick you or anything like that. And that's another thing in this energy. Keep yourself calm because if you're leaving the collective, there's bound to be a lot of static on the radar. Okay, you might get messages that just don't feel right. Pause yourself until it does, okay? That's all you got to do. Don't leap at the first thing, especially when the alarm bells are going off inside you and saying, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? 
take a pause okay it's okay so catching your spirit body and sealing the gates of the heart now I also have my live webinar that I do where I allow live question and answer you can participate or you can just listen in I do a presentation and we do a meditation with light codes for opening up your upper channels for your subtle body with your twin that is September 7th at 8 a.m. Central and I also do reading sessions I do the mini groups which is the blue infusion and I have probably close to 24 webinars on my website so there's quite a bit of material depending where you're at and yes I do feel suggestions for people so if you're not sure write me my website is www.twinflamesmerge.com and being a blu-ray means that I am from the origins so I actually am also from Atlantis and I am one of the people that has an agreement to teach about the light body that's my niche but I know a lot about the body and I know a lot about the transition and the difference between the human body the angelic body being in human mode being in angel mode and teaching you how to get to goddess mode okay a lot of you know you are goddesses and gods I should say also gods how sexist of me to not include the masculine but yes how sometimes you're human sometimes you're angelic and sometimes you are the god or goddess to each other and you're intended to come back into your sovereignty where you're creating things together that are pertinent for your life not my life not somebody else's not the whole group you know they want different things one wants a white yacht one wants a mountain house one wants to get off the grid I don't know if anyone who's been through some of these storms will ever truly want to get off the grid but talking about the eclipse that was the opportunity to get off the old paradigm grid that's what you're getting off of you're getting out of the old paradigm cafe where things just aren't fresh anymore and they're very redundant and you know people have a little fear of the unknown but you can't fear something that is uncreated okay the new earth exists and you're part of it you're part of its creation and it is a distinct place it's not here that is one of the kickers because people are doing a lot of work to try and fix things here you have to focus on fix yourself first the charity begins at home first put the oxygen mask first breathe then you could turn around and help people when you're ready okay so I want you to know that there is a plan okay there is at least two million people in these timelines here and you've jumped off the old timeline you're in quantum time now and this is a lot of people this has been a very laborious task if you are a blu-ray I want to let you know that yes the hard labors and the harvest is here everything has been brought here from the four quarters of the universe okay for some of you who identify as a seraphim and a orophonum and you could say I'm a lumens I'm golden okay golden is the new earth I'm a seraphim I have ophanum some of the colors purple orange green pink golden gold which is different and it's almost like every everybody brought in stuff put it in you know laid it out on a blanket and you have to pick up and gather in that's what it it behooves you to get your body to start doing gather in what belongs to you pull it in get it in and that is what I teach I teach you how to be adept at what is new so that you're free to fly ding you are now going to be going into the new so thanks so much for watching uh, if you would like a session please check out my website because I'm not far away there really is no waiting list and I, I do spirit chat I do a two types of sessions that are energetic I do in person I do the online uh, class groups and I'm working on the book so the book should be finished fairly soon okay 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Bye now.